right now what we got going on is we got some collard greens actually cooking and it's a process it can be a lengthy process what we have done is to make it easy for you is have a recipe card that you can get from the store free of charge where you can learn how to make the sisters call us green right there at home. So let's let's back up for one second. Okay. Collard greens have been around, especially this area, right. probably since the Native Americans lived here. I'm so sure. let's talk about um, how you prepare them and mm -hmm. the different ways to prepare them and how to make them not bitter because I have not acquired that skill. Well, the bitterness, that that's the biggest thing, is if you go and take your collard greens and you cut that big stem out, mm -hmm. you, you just got rid of all your bitterness. It's in the stock? It's in the stock, okay. Now they say you want to leave a little bit of stock for flavor, but usually when people have a whole bunch of stems in there, like my mother-in-law, my mother, they'll tell you, get them stems out of there. Don't, don't cook them with the stems out of there. They're more tender, they, they're juicy, they, they're full of flavor. Do you, you know, put anything else in there? I've heard of people putting sh brown sugar and some all kinds of crazy things in collard greens. We add, we, add, we add a little bit of sugar to take away the, any bitterness that's there, but we also have vinegar and we have our own seasoning. So um, to combat that bitterness, people add just a touch of sugar. And this is such a staple in mm -hmm. southern dishes. It is, it is. Is it that is. because it grows so plentiful around here? You know what? I don't know, but I'm going to say probably so. Because when you think about it, like I say, going back to building America, um, you try and live off of the land. So uh, people, when I met my wife, her mother, who um, was from Claxton, she actually had a farm in the back of her yard in the city, and she grew her greens. She didn't buy greens. She grew, grew her greens. That's the and they were it. the most tender greens you could ever imagine. Well, what do we got here? We're just about, we're going to wrap up here in just yep. a second, but how, how, uh, how are we preparing this? Okay, so we take our greens, we cut the stalk from, we, we like to cut them thin so that they kind of like shred it, mm -hmm. okay? And then we add our water, we add our sister's uh, collard green seasoning, we add a little bit of vinegar, we add a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of vegetable oil. Okay, I like for all those to be uh, cooking hot first before I add my greens. So that way all the, all the liquid is, the flavor is uh, distributed all the way through. All so right. when you cook those greens in there, you put them in there, cover them up, let them cook for about 45 minutes, an hour, and they're good to go. They, they look good to go to me. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the history. We're going to get into some chicken as well. Thank you for that. And we're going to have a way for you to get this very recipe into your hot little hands. We'll talk about that next time. All right. <laughs> Kenneth Brown and I are signing off for now. Come back in about a half an hour, and we'll talk about some more. All right, all you right. guys? We're going to send it you. back to Ben and Kim, who are very hungry right now in the studio.